Hey guys, I'm back to another YouTube video. Today we're going to be doing SCP Roleplay. I'm just going to be reviewing all the game passes, okay? And seeing if they're worth it. So if you're thinking about buying some game passes, SCP Roleplay, watch this video to see if they're worth it before you're buying them. Because some of them, they're not too worth it, I will have to admit. So, the first one we're going to go over is the Glock Game Pass. Okay, only on, it's the cheapest game pass in this game. So, okay, what's happening to my controls? There, so, very cheap game pass, 100 Robux, and you get access to the Glock 17. Now, it is actually pretty good, I will have to admit, so, it's a very good second year just to quickly pull out and start shooting if you're out of ammo. What I like to do is if people are standing still, like this, um, V-7, you just shoot him, and if you die, it don't even matter. I want to try to go for the two kills. So, and yeah, it's pretty worth it. I will have to make just a really good secondary just to quickly pull out. So yeah, now we're going to go over the um, VIP Game Pass. So the main thing what the VIP Game Pass does gives you access to the upgraded variant of the Class D, which means you get a free UMP45 if you talk to um, Jerry or Alex. Plus you get this very cool suit outfit. So, plus there's some more perks. I'm gonna show them on the screen. So, but anyways, you do get access to a UMP for free. Looks like I press equip and I have it. No credits lost, just like that. It's just Robux. It's just Robux that's been lost. So, but anyways, I'm just going to try to kill some foundation. All right, we kill the AD. Not too bad. It is a very good gun. Not a lot of ammo. Okay, we're right. chill, chill. Okay. So yeah, there are some more perks. I will put them on the screen. So yeah. But anyways, we're going to be going over the, some of the upgraded game passes. So first one we have the MTF um, one. So what this does is you get um, access to the upgraded variants of all the MTF plus. If you don't have any of the MTF unlocked, you have them unlocked instantly. So first one is the V-7, new-7. You do 5% more damage to Chaos when not upgraded. And then you get 10% more damage to Chaos, or no. Oh, I didn't see that before. So actually it's 10% more damage overall when upgraded. Wow. So that's not too bad actually. Only 350 Robux, dang. So, plus you get changes in outfit. Next is the B-7. So you do 15% more damage to infected, plus infected detection when not upgraded. When upgraded, 25% more damage to infected, plus infected detection. Plus outfit changes. Now the Epsilon-11, aka the Nine-Tailed Fox, they have 25% faster recontain, plus, or no, sorry, not plus, um, but then when you upgrade it, 50% faster, plus alpha changes. Then the A-1. So you get 5% faster reload, plus XP bonus when guarding all 5 when not upgraded. But then when upgraded, 10% faster reload, plus XP bonus when guarding all 5 plus alpha changes. So that's the MTF Game Pass. Only 350 Robux, very cheap, okay. Next we have the IA, the Intelligence Agency. One of my personal favorite ones to play. A little bit underrated too, I don't really think many people use it too much but it has vent destruction alert which means if a ci or rogue class d destroy a vent it will say that vent has been destroyed so like the maintenance room vent has been destroyed that's what it'll say plus it has heat signature tracker which can look through walls only 75 studs but then when you upgrade it 150 studs plus look even cooler with the alpha change now the isd internal security department it's a uh, probably the most useless role in this game by far but the upgrade actually isn't too bad so you get rogue alert so if, like an mtf member got has like breached an scp they'll say mtf member has gone rogue and it has permanent rogue detection only 150 studs it's on the goggles so but upgraded 250 studs plus you get a spas plus you also have a um, alpha change next is the rapid response team not upgraded, you actually get 10% faster movement, which is very nice. So, but then upgraded, 
you get 15% faster movement, plus a spot for free, and outfit changes. Next is the Chaos Insurgency. Pretty fun to be, honestly. It's like the bad people. They try to breach the SCPs, you know, kill the Foundation members. But not upgraded. Nothing at all. Completely nothing. Upgraded, though. 5% damage absorption, which means if, like, you're getting hit by a gun, then it will like, absorb a little bit of the damage. So you'll take less damage. Plus alpha changes. And last but not least, the administrative department. It's... It's kind of useless. You still have to max it out if you're trying to max everything, which is what I had to do. But when not upgraded, you get breach alert. Yeah, so if like SCP breaches, so like 049 has breach containment, I'll say in the corner of the screen. And the upgraded variant, breach alert with proximity. I still don't understand what it means, because um, I'm a kid, you know? I don't really understand it. So I don't really know the definition of proximity, but now it says, if an SCP breaches, it says numbers. I don't really understand, but plus alpha changes, small alpha cha changes, okay? Plus, you get spots for free. And now, the last game pass of today's video, we have the O5 game pass, okay? Very expensive, but very cool game pass. 2,500 Robux to be exact. Yeah, that's a lot of Robux. But, it does have some pretty cool stuff. There's a lot of other stuff too, so I'll put everything on the screen that everything else it does. But the most important thing, you get access to the O5 team to each role. Not Class D, because it's pretty obvious, but everything else, even CI, you get something, so. And all it does is, if you become it, then you'll have a different dash. No alpha changes, so like, this is dash 6, and this one here is like, dash 4, and so on. So, and then, they also have a minigun, okay, which is pretty cool. So... And yeah, it's about it. Plus, they also have some other stuff. Like, they, I think they have skins, too. Pretty cool. And the main part is they just get access to a minigun for any of them. It's like medical department. They're almost useless without like, a Glock, which is like the only gun they could have for free. Up, or being 05, you get a freaking minigun. Same with scientific department. So, and, and in Chaos Insurgency, you're not called an 05. You're called the Engineer. Okay, the engineer, which has the minigun. Pretty cool. So I'll show all the prices of the game pass on the screen and stuff. And yeah, if you guys want more SP roleplay videos, make sure you like and subscribe. Remember, we're doing a Robux giveaway. Three people will get 1,000 Robux. If you, you just have to go to my the video on my channel that says Robux Giveaway, and then just enter your username and yeah, just watch the video, okay? So, and yeah, that's probably going to be it for this video, so see you guys in the next one. Bye!